Hello there and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 18th of August and I have a possible rumour for you concerning Saints Row 4. As you might as most of you probably know, um, the Australian release for Saints Row 4 is expected to be released in its, quote, low-violence version on August 22nd, of course, the same week as everywhere else in the world. But, however, retailers are now claiming that is no longer the case. EB Games Australia is now listing the game as having an August 30th release date and on Steam it is now carrying an unlock date of September 20th although the season pass for that particular game still says August 20th. Now there hasn't been any official word on this at the moment, not at the time of recording, but it still seems a bit strange that it's changed, but also that it seems to be differing between the platforms as to what the new release date actually is. Now, of course, anyone in Australia who wants to get their hands on Saints Row 4 at the same time as everyone else, uh, of course, with the mission that was removed still included in the game, they, of course, can just import the title um, as especially considering that the Australian version cannot actually play online co-op with international versions, of course. Two Australians with an Australian copy can, of course, play online co-op together, but, say, an American and an Australian cannot play the, sa the, the same co-op game together if the Australian person has the Australian copy due to the removed mission. That is just not possible. So... Let's just take this as a rumour for now, but it does seem true given that the date has been changed on more than one platform. However, as I said earlier, it is more than a smidge strange that the date is so different. Of course, we've got August 30th on EB Games and of course September 20th on Steam with the season pass still saying August 20th. Hopefully Deep, Deep Silver will actually reach out and explain this soon. Maybe this rumour is completely and utterly untrue and it's just a big mistake or someone has got their information wrong and it'd be interesting to see which date is actually correct. I'm sure any of you in Australia who perhaps don't want to import the game for whatever reason uh, would prefer an August 30th release rather than September 20th given that, you know, it's actually maybe a couple of weeks and a bit more for August 30th rather than, you know, basically a month for September 20th. And of course the removal of a mission might, might delay the release for a couple of days. I don't see why it should delay it for a month until September 20th. So hopefully the Deep Silver will actually um, address this rumour very, very soon. And of course, when they do, I'll bring you the latest updates and all that good stuff. Anyway, that is me done for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.